Hello students, let's read the problem. And it says, square ABCD was translated two units to the left and four units down, and then reflected across the Y axis to create the square A prime B prime C prime D prime. Which rule best describes this transformation? So we're looking for the rule that describes the transformation that happened. Now, if you notice, there was two transformations that happened in this problem. Number one, it was translated two units to the left and four units down. That's the first thing that happens. After that, it was reflected across the y-axis, okay? So we're gonna take one transformation at a time. Let's do the translation first, okay? So it says that it moved two units to the left and what we're going to do is we're going to actually draw an arrow pointing to the left. And why do I want to do that? Just to help you uh, remember that in the coordinate plane, okay, the one that is horizontal like this line is actually the x-axis, right? Therefore, this is going to go with x. Since you're going to the left, that means minus, and that will be minus 2, okay? Now, what about the second uh, rule? What happens after that? Well, it says that you're going to go four units down. And I'm going to show you an arrow pointing down, right? And again, this one is a vertical. Reminds me of a vertical line, right? So vertical line, it's uh, going to be tied or related with the y-axis. So this will be y minus 4. And it's minus 4 because it went down right so the first rule will be something like this x minus 2 comma y minus 4 okay now this is only after that translation okay but after that what happens is that it got reflected okay so what i want to do now is show you a little bit about a reflection okay so let's suppose I have this coordinate plane and there is a point here. And this point is one and two. Those are the coordinates, right? And I wanna reflect it across the y-axis. So that means that this point is gonna go to the other side right here, okay? And the coordinates for that now will be negative one and positive two. So notice how the y, it stays exactly the same. So this is what we're going to uh, do. So this is my reflection. Okay. So in a reflection, the y stays the same, which is y minus 4. Now what's going to happen to the x? This is my x coordinates. Well, my x, it was a positive 1, and it got switched to a negative 1. So that means that my x coordinate will be multiplied by negative 1. So my coordinate x minus 2 will be multiplied by negative 1. I can either just write a negative sign or I can write negative 1, whatever makes more sense for you guys, okay? So I'm going to multiply, do that distributive property. So I will get negative x plus 2, okay? And I know what you're thinking, miss. In my answer choices, that x is not coming first. Okay? Let's rewrite it. Okay? Rewriting means that I'm just going to swap the terms. Okay? So the 2 comes to the front, and the x goes as a second term. Since the x is negative, then I write down minus x, and that will be my x coordinate. 2 minus x and y minus 4. So look at this answer that I got, and let's look at the answer choices that I have. And the one that matches this will be your letter D. Okay, very good.